all right guys welcome back to another in the series today we'll be looking at ratio a very simple topic but nevertheless it's not to go through it and ratio shows the proportion so ratio basically is proportion like one quantity proportionate to another and basically the, the dictionary definition it says ratio shows the proportion of one and how many times is contained within another all right so let us look at what is ratio sometimes i would like to think of ratio as fractions because it's expressed in such a way that it's almost like a fraction like for example let's say your mom gave you a hundred dollars and she says share one hundred dollars in the ratio one to one right so two of you right and they said sharing the ratio one to one now immediately what you would you and your brother or sister would have said listen one share for you one share for me that means the share is equal now if the share is equal what fraction is that a half right so to be a half times 100 so you will get $50 and your brother or sister would get $50 so basically it's proportionate so this tells us that this is equal right all right so another way that we could have looked at it is saying that let us find the total share so it will be one plus one is equal to two so the entire hundred dollars is represented by twos two but only one is yours so he said one out of the two is yours and you multiply it by a hundred so it's the same thing and it's, you would have, you'd have gotten fifty dollars for yourself all right so let us look at a little bit more complicated ones um, to be honest it doesn't get really hard but nevertheless we have to do it it's necessary it's coming in the evening multiple choice and it can be in words also so you have to be mindful of all of these things so let us look at this now let us say share Two hundred dollars in the ratio three to seven, right? And now it's a little bit different. So the numbers are not the same. However, the principle remains the same. So we are to share. So first, we need to find out this two hundred. How many shares are in it in total? So in her, so we say the total share would be 3 plus 7 equal to 10 shares. So in all, it's 10 shares. But out of the 10, the smaller share would be 2. Only 3 out of the 10. Now let's multiply it by the 200, right? So this cancel this, we divide by 10, and 3 times that to be 0, 3 to 6. So the first, the smaller share would be $60. And of course, we can always subtract $60 from 200, and the remainder would be for the bigger share. Because the total share must come to $100. However, we can show working by saying this, the bigger share, would be 7 out of the 10 times 200 so this 7 times 0 is 0 so the tools 14 as I said before the total shares must come to $200 because it's $200 being shared between the two persons what if the money is shared between three persons would the principle change Let's see. 
So we know we're going to look at when it is shared between three persons. So let us look at this now. Let us put some names in it. See, Tom. Jerry and John got five hundred dollars to share in the ratio to said respectively. What respectively mean is that the first name goes to the first person, right? So two will go to Tom, Jerry, three, and John, five, right? Because it's a respectively. So it's it's in that order. And it say calculate each person share now let us put the names to it so Tom will get two Jerry three and John five right so we need to find the total shares so let us do that now Total shares, because we need to know how many shares the one total represent. That'd be 2 plus 3 plus 5. So that gives us 10. So the total share is 10. But out of the 10, Tom is supposed to get 2. So it's 2 out of 10 times total money, which is 500, right? This cancel this to five ten. So he get his hundred dollars. Let us calculate Jerry shares. Jerry share. So it's three out of the ten times the total. Three five one fifty. Get a one fifty and go on board. The big dog, you know. See the big dog, you know. That's a five you get. So it will be five out of 10 times 500 5 times that 0 and that 250 and this makes sense a lot of sense right because 5 out of 10 is a half right so you see it's a half so John will receive 250 dollars so guys, this is how we do ratio. Alright, let us look at a different case scenario, right? Those are pretty simple. Let us look at this now. This one says, A sum of money was shared in the ratio two to three. If the smaller share was or is was two hundred dollars what was the total money shared so this one is a little bit different right 
because they gave us, they say a sum, we don't know the sum, but they gave us something. They gave us the ratio, and that's 2 to 3, and they gave us something else, $200, which is the smaller share. So, let's just look at it this way. Two shares is equal to 200. So, what would one share mean? We divide this by 2, right? So, divide this by 2, we get 1. And we divide this by 2, we get 100. So, basically, one share is worth $100. So, how many shares in all? It would be 2 plus 3 equal 5. So, it's 5 shares. So it's safe to say we can say 5 times 100 is equal to $500. So this was the total sum of money shared. They got 500 to share and they shared it in the ratio 2 to 3. Alright, no fire assignment. Guys, remember to like and share with your friends. You can leave a comment. Um, this year we want everyone to accomplish their dream. Hope your dream is to be employed and all these things. Mathematics is a core subject, you need it. So let's do what you have to do. And pass the thing. No I good thing. Alright guys, no I good thing, no I good thing. This one says share. Three hundred dollars in the ratio seven to eight. And number two says Tom, Barry, and Carrie got one thousand dollars. To share in the ratio one to four to five. Calculate. 